So what's up you guys? Um, I know it's been a while since I made a video, but here's another minnow trapping video. You guys seem to like the last two. For some reason it said I had 60 some views. And then, now it says I have like 40 some. So, I don't know YouTube. Something happened. Shouldn't have happened. But uh, yeah. You've not seen this already. This is my brand new minnow trap. It's got a cracked bottom, but you know, this is for big, big boys. This is for crawdads and creek chubs and catfish. They're living in my creek. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm the first time using it. So, uh, I don't know what happens if I make catch clean cook out of it. I guess that's what happens. Before we do anything, we gotta bait the trap. I just got this old hot dog bun. So, I'm just gonna take this, put it in here, see, I. Got a bigger hole there so bigger fish can get in it. Cause I wanna see what's all in my crick. Those crick chubs and bluegills and sunfish and crap. But we we have some bullheads in there and well, to be honest, I got one more hot dog bun because since it's a big trap, it needs a big amount of bait. Like, do not eat the bait. It's for the fish. She wants the bait. Good thing it wasn't a worm on a hook or something. I mean, you'd you'd have to go to the vet, dog. But I'll see you guys. I know that's probably born right here. But, Stella, you can't have the bait either. But I'll see you guys at the spot. Oh, well, honestly, I'm about to set the trap right here. Um, There's a bunch of fish cru cruising around. About scared about a hundred of them. That's not bad enough, but uh, I'm just gonna fill this up, chuck it out there if you guys can't see the fish. Well, I mean, they're in there. I don't know, I can't really see them good on camera. I'm just sitting here looking at them. They're about to flip out when I throw a trap in here, but uh, here we go. Let's take the trap. So, guys, if uh, we already got set trap set, and we already got about five bluegills. Are you going? It? And a lot of times, some bluegills they're smarter than minnows. And they'll go out back out of the trap, and the whole one is about that big around. But I'm trying to get some of the bullheads in here because uh, honestly, bullheads are like pretty cool. See, I like a lot of different types. Oh man, do you see all them fish? Dang, and the camera it shows it so foggy. Can you see him? I think you can see him. There's a bunch of creek chubs. There was a bass that went by earlier. But, um, I think catfish are hiding in there because behind there, some of the catfish. And also, there's a big old cement, cement slab back here. And, uh, right down there, if you can kind of see the outline, see it. And the fish really like to hide under that. But I'm not going to make this video complicated. And I'm going to go check it in a few hours and let it sit overnight and let check it again. But uh, stay tuned. And if you guys want to see a food chain catch clean cook deal. Where I like go out and get some bugs or more worms or something. And I'll probably go to the creek and catch some creek chubs and crawdads and crap. And then bring that and use them as bait for minnows and stuff. And then I'll use them catch bigger fish which like a bluegill or something and then you know catch a big old Wait, that doesn't make sense but anyway use that bait to catch a catfish or something like that okay so we're gonna go trick trap I'm gonna pull it out and then I'm gonna show you guys oh well, you can hear a bunch of minnows and stuff but you guys didn't see because I didn't show it and I was picking up the trap because it has a hole in the bottom because of all the weight it opened up and dropped like 20 fish. You can see them swimming around down there by my bait now. So that's cool. I had a couple bluegills in there. Oh, uh, let's see. There we go. I actually had a bunch of sunfish that came out, which is pretty cool, you know. Whatever. It's like, so we got like a couple creek chubs and stuff. And we got this little boy right here, which is just a little minner. I didn't even get to see if I had any bullhead. 
And here you go, Jebediah. Mm, a couple creek chubs. I really need to patch up the bottom. See, I'd like it. It was stacked with fish and stuff. But no, I don't want to cooperate. Now, before I sign off, we got the trap reset and everything. We're going to do a check in the morning. But I got a new technique because I picked up straight up and the bottom has cracks in it, you know. Well, there's so much weight. Once it got it up, it just cracked open and it really fell out. So, that made me pretty mad. Because I counted about a dozen sunfish cut out and I think might have been possibly catfish or something. was probably in there too. But, uh, yeah. There's a lot of fish in there. And it made me pretty freaking mad because I'm going to leave it overnight and all the bread that dumped out, I just put right back in it. And it doesn't work, seem to work as well. I mean, but I I, my, I put some bread in my hand that was there and I actually had some fish get pretty close. So I was trying to hand feed them. I was bored. But that's, that's all. But drop a comment what you want to see us do next. Um, and uh, drop a comment and see to, if you want us to do a food chain challenge where we get some worm stuff and build up until we get like a catfish or something, you know, um, from worms to like creek chubs or small bluegill or something to uh, catfish, you know. So uh, I guess I'm actually signing off this time. And I actually had a creek chub, nice decent one, like, like that. That was actually underneath my trap. But uh, what I was.